Hey guys, um, so today I want to do a chit chat, get ready with me, and I want to use this uh, Makeup Revolution Chocolate Bar Palette. This is the 24 karat gold one. Um, it's super cute. I just, I got this. I saw Makeup Revolution was having a gift with purchase deal, and I always wanted to try these, so I thought I would try that today. Um, and yeah, I just, I wanted to film, so I'm filming a chit chat, get ready with me. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's start with Facebook using the Milani Prime Light Primer. Um, I don't know how chatty I feel. Um, I was watching The Office today, because today's Sunday, which is like, I usually just watch The Office and I'm like a lazy, lazy Sunday person. Um, that might change soon, but you know, right now I'm a lazy Sunday person. And I just kind of watch The Office and just kind of hang out. Um, but yeah, I did, I did start a new job, so I'm trying to film my videos for the week today, because I have off. Um, I have off later in the week, too, but I'm just going to try to film them today. And yeah, so that's, that's about it. <laughs> uh, let's see, what foundation should I use? I think I'm going to use these, these. I'm going to use the <laughs> Maybelline, um, Superstay 24 hour foundation. Yeah. I haven't had all my coffee yet, so I feel like I'm not a full person yet, but that's okay. <laughs> Just dotting this on my face and then I'm gonna blend it in. Today's National Lipstick Day. I've never done, like, I know the MAC counters give away a free lipstick. I've never done that, but, like, I, I want to some year. But I feel like there's gonna be, like, a huge line. Maybe there isn't, because maybe that's what people are assuming. And maybe they don't get the free lipstick because of that, but... I don't know. I want to try Twig for MAC. I think I'm gonna do a lipstick video after I film this, because I feel like I have to, because it's National Lipstick Day. Um, so that'll probably be posted first, because I will probably try to edit that and upload that today, since it is National Lipstick Day, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's a thing. Um, yeah, I want to try Twig, because Emily Noel 83 was talking about that. I love Whirl. That is one of my favorite colors. My friend got it for me for Christmas or for my birthday or something. I don't remember. I think it was for Christmas. Yeah. And I like Velvet Teddy a lot. I wore that yesterday. And I'm just going to buff some wet in just to kind of even this out. I feel like I'm a little bit darker than this color right now, which is probably a bad thing. But got my David Bowie shirt. I was excited to wear that today. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm not working today. I don't have to wear anything fancy, so I might as well just wear my David Bowie t-shirt. And I love the song Rebel Rebel, so I figured that was perfect. And I'm going to double check my foundation in a mirror just to make sure that I've got everything kind of covered. Oh, I've got to tell my weekly favorites, too. I think I'll post my weekly favorites later since I really want to get the lipstick video up on lipstick day. So even though I typically like to do my my weekly favorites on like a Saturday or Sunday, I'm going to do it some other time in the week, maybe on Monday. Uh, but this is one of my weekly favorites. This is the Saharan Blush Palette, the Saharan 2, Volume 2 Blush Palette from Juvia's Place. I got this last year and I loved it, but I had it back there so that it could be kind of like decorative and I wasn't using it then. And then I was like, well, just, you know, bring it up here, see how you like it. And then it was just kind of working out really well for me. So I just, I wanted to keep using it. And yeah, that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> I am using it. So where's my, I'm gonna use this uh, bronzer brush. This is from Wet n Wild. This is their dragon brush. I talked about this in my, um, in my Wet n Wild video that I did on Wednesday. Um, so yeah, like I said, I have a job now. I'm not really going to talk about like 
what it is or where it is or anything. Just because I feel like that's like good sense to not say what or where. Um, but yeah, it's, it's something. I'm happy about it. And I'm excited about it. So that's a thing. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm gonna try to like keep up with the five videos a week schedule, but I don't think I don't think it's gonna work like that. Um, but it might. I'm just putting a little bit more bronzer on. Just since this is like a light light foundation shade, I feel like this this works pretty well. So yeah, there's another blush palette too from Juvia's Place. Um, it's a little bit darker, but I mean, you could probably use it as eyeshadows also. Just like, you know, it might not be. I don't know if it's technically like eye safe when they have it like that, when they have it as a blush palette. I'm not sure that it isn't, but. And Juvia's Place is now on Ulta's website, so that's exciting. I think it's coming to select Ulta stores also, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to use this color B. Uh, usually I use a fluffier brush for this because this is, this is pigmented, this blush palette. So I'm trying to look and see if I have a fluffy blush brush. Okay, so this is just our Real Techniques. Uh, this is their multitask brush. I think they have this in their regular collection, but I got it in like a palette. And it was like special edition in that palette at the time. But yeah, that just... It's so nice. I love how this makes like my skin look. I feel like it just looks like so young and pretty and cheery and I just I like it. Like I, I think this is like one of the best blush palettes and it's so inexpensive too that like it's just great. Um, this is kind of like an underrated thing too. I know people always mention Juvia's Place for their eyeshadow palettes, but I feel like nobody ever talks about this blush palette and it's amazing. Um, and then I'm gonna use this highlighter right here, color Zoba, Zuba, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, it's also good like if you have like a theme going on in your eyes, like I love using like this color Tau when I have like an orangey eye, um, just like lightly. This color Lena, I, I don't use that enough. That's really pretty too. Um, so yeah, next time I do a chit chat, get ready with me, I'll have to use that. Um, but yeah, this is just like such a nice palette and I've been loving it lately. So that's a thing. You'll probably see my weekly favorites before this video too, unless this goes on too long and I just want to edit and upload this first. <laughs> Okay, so I just have my Milani eye primer. Let's squeeze a little bit out. I'm gonna squeeze a lot of it out. I feel like this is getting like towards the bottom of the tube. I should probably get more. I do work next to an Ulta now, so <laughs> that could be dangerous, but I could also just kind of pick it up after work or before work or whatever. <laughs> Okay, I feel like that's on nice and evenly, even though it didn't really look like I applied it that evenly. Um, so now I'm going to go in with this chocolate bar palette. And, huh, let's see what I want to use. This reminds me a little bit of the Too Faced Semi Sweet, I think. Um, the second chocolate bar palette that they released, which I do not have, and I probably will not buy because I have this. I think I'm going to use this... Um, this big shade like all over the lid maybe but maybe I'll put some in the crease first this this looks like a nice like transition color right down here I think they came with like a little paper that had names in it but I'm not gonna I think I threw that out <laughs> so I'm not gonna use any of those names oh this color's really pretty too these aren't like super pigmented but I think it'll be good in Ooh, that color's pretty too, that color right there. Maybe we'll use that on the one. But I'm going to start with that transition color then. Um, and yeah, I rearranged kind of how my desk is over here. 
So yeah, like I said, I'm going in with this color right first. I feel like nothing's really showing up. Um, maybe it's getting like a little bit defined, but this is a little bit lackluster, I feel like. Um, but I guess it is just the transition color. So that's that's probably why it's not showing up like that well. Yeah, because I can see it. I don't think you guys can see it on camera, but it's it's doing something. It's maybe creating some definition there. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm using this color. This is a nice little shiny color that I just showed, and I'm going to use that all over the lid right now. And I'm going to kind of dig in a little. You know what? I'm going to use this with this brush. This is, um, you know, a sponge tip applicator because I think that makes more sense. Yeah, that looks good. See, a lot of people kind of insult sponge tip applicators, but I feel like drugstore uh, palettes are kind of formulated to go on better with a sponge tip applicator than with a brush because that's like what it comes with. And like, I mean, this is like, you know, it's not like an expensive palette and they can't put like an expensive brush in there. So I feel like a lot of times like keep the brush that's like in there even if you're not going to use it all the time because like this is like the suggestive method of applying it there's my little tip right there for drugstore palettes um but i think that like you know they're kind of made for sponge tips uh, i guess that's not like super funny and I'm like laughing about it, but whatever i kind of wanted to do like a red lip since it is lipstick day but i don't know if i'm going to do that or not um, depending on how this eye look comes out, but I like this shimmer. Yeah. I feel like if I did like winged eyeliner, I could just do a wing and just like call it a day, but I don't do winged liner. So, um, yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, all right. So let's see what else I can do with this. Um, I'm going to darken up the crease a little bit with this brown color I think and then I might put something in the outer corner I might not because I like this color on its own I feel like it's standing out a lot but it's not like overpowering the look so I think I'm just gonna put this in my crease maybe a little bit in the outer corner and then I'll move on to my highlight in the inner corner and my highlight on the brow bone I kind of like the color selection in this because it's like, it's all kind of like earthy tones, you know, nothing too over the top. Alright, so I'm using this color as a highlight on the inner corner. This is, this color down here is what I'm using as a highlight for the inner corner. And I'm just, I'm keeping it with the sponge tip ink. And I already just saw like another color that I like a lot that I'll probably use like tomorrow or something. This color right here, that's so pretty. And then like this green, I like this. And then like, I like that there are purples in this palette too. It's just so nice and different. So this is kind of like my choice for a matte highlight because that's the only like matte white color in here. And I prefer using matte shades on the brow bone. Or like, you know, like a little bit of a satin shade. Like the Jaclyn Hill, one of the colors in there, in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette is my favorite for, you know, a brow bone shade, but just counting. Anybody got it, planning on getting the Jaclyn Hill Vault when that comes out? I, I don't know, because it's like I have the Jaclyn Hill palette and the vault kind of looks the same to me, just like in smaller sizes. I don't think I'm going to get the whole vault. I think I'll maybe pick up like one or two, unless they have it at Ulta. And like if I have enough, Ulta. but even still, I don't think that's what I want to spend like all of my Ulta points on, you know, because I mean, it is quite pricey. I, I don't remember how much the vault was. 
I, I wasn't paying that much attention to it, but I'm like, you know, I do kind of like the palette a lot, and I think it's, like, one of the best palettes out there, maybe, but, yeah. Okay, so that's the brow bone. I love this palette. That was really good. Um, like I said, it was a little lackluster in the pigmentation before I put the, um, before I used the sponge tip applicator, but once I used the sponge tip, man, that was good. I'm keeping the sponge tip just, like, in there so that, like, it's all together, and I remember to use it with that, because I liked that. I really love this look. Um, and partially it's because of, like, the highlight and stuff, but yeah, that's, that's a nice little, like, affordable drugstore palette. This was $15, and it came with a free gift, too, which I'll show you guys. It came with this, um, this is the Strobe Lighting Palette. So, I think these are supposed to be highlights. I've been using them as, like, powders, though, because they, I think this is, like, the idea of, like, the ambient lighting powders from Hourglass. I've just pretty much been using, like, this pink one. And I'm just going to use it now just to show you guys. I guess it doesn't really do like a lot as a powder, but I feel like I look kind of like brightened and kind of like, you know, there's a nice little glow. And like, I, I don't really want the ambient lighting palette because it's so expensive from Hourglass. Hourglass, I think, is a good brand, but they're just so pricey. Um, so yeah. So I think this looks nice. And I just kind of like, you know, it's kind of like going over everything with a brush or with something. Um, and now on to the, to not the brows. Um, do I need to do my brows? I think my brows are okay. I am going to do my eyelashes, which I have this rose gold eyelash curler from Precision Beauty. This is the best eyelash curler that I've used. Um, I'm not like a huge believer in eyelash curlers, or I wasn't before this. Um, but yeah, this, this works so well. Like yesterday I had like the biggest, like nicest flirty looking lashes. It was perfect. <laughs> like I don't know what to do with my lips because it's lipstick day and I'm gonna do like a big lipstick thing so I better use like one of my favorites if I'm gonna do like a big lipstick thing and my favorites aren't typically like red although I do have I do have reds this is a Maybelline red maybe I'll use that um, yeah I should So, yeah, I'm going to line my lips first. This is Essence. This is an Essence lip liner in the color Femme Fatale. So I had a little bit of a fail, and it got a little bit outside my lip line, but that's okay. Um, I do like this color, and I'm going to fix that before I leave here. So we're just going to get one of my Shiseido facial cotton things. And I don't even think I'm going to use makeup remover on it. I got it on my hands, too. It's very messy. Mm -hmm. National lipstick, though. Kind of messy. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Um... And yeah, I really like it. I love this lipstick. Happy National Lipstick Day. Um, and I will see you guys all when I see ya. Bye. I say with my lipstick hand. <laughs> Bye.